This man, Jimmy has been staying at home for so long. So he comes up with an idea. Bury himself alive. Jimmy asks some of his friends to come for help. He's going to spend 50 hours buried alive. Would he be able to make it? Let's see. Now Jimmy is lying in the coffin. Cameras are installed everywhere so that his friends can watch him. After sealing the coffin, his friends start putting dirt on top of the coffin and soon it's filled. The whole coffin is buried. They even prepared a tombstone for him. After filling up with dirt, the tombstone has been gently placed. The challenge has started. But Jimmy's challenge seems that it's not going well. Because he kind of already has to pee after an hour. Luckily, he's prepared some empty bottles. In case you're curious on how Jimmy isn't dying right now. They have an air conditioner that goes straight to his coffin. To make sure he'll be safe. They even have a medic on standby. They're monitoring him all the times. They've also prepared a walkie-talkie to detect his reaction more easily. Soon after, the first night has passed. Now it's the next morning. The challenge seems to be quite successful. It's been 18 hours. Jimmy still survives. His friend has to pee so he's going to pee on his coffin to make it feel cooler. His friends are pretty bored so they keep teasing Jimmy. Another afternoon has passed. It's been 24 hours buried alive. Jimmy doesn't feel comfortable anymore. At this time, his back hurts. He's starting to feel claustrophobic and bored out of his mind. He smells pretty bad as well. To make him feel better, they decide to turn some music and colorful light on for him. So would he finally complete the challenge successfully? Let's wait. It's midnight now, his friends are about to camp over Jimmy's grave. It is bedtime. Now Jimmy's back and side hurt so much. He's trying to fall asleep and finally he's sleeping. He literally sleeps until 2 in the afternoon, and when he wakes up, he's so excited. It's been 40 hours now. He has less than 10 hours left. It looks like he's almost finished. But at this moment, there is a problem. Jimmy can't hold it anymore, what should he do? Jimmy comes up with the idea of teasing his friend. So he tells them to get him out. As he doesn't want to poop in this coffin. His friends believe it so he successfully teases them. When he calls them again to ask if they've started digging. Which means that this is the only opportunity for them to tease him back. Jimmy finally waits until night, the smell in the coffin is also very bad right now. It's been 50 hours, he nailed it. His friends are shooting off fireworks. After a while of celebrating, they're about to dig him up. It's officially been 50 hours buried alive so he was so excited. What is the best way to get help when drowning? Accidents always suddenly happen, if you are filled with fear. You will probably waste your chance to be saved. The American Navy has a training session. Because there was a helicopter that crashed in the water before. So soldiers must be trained to deal with this. They simulate a helicopter falling into the water. In the swimming pool, soldiers who are being trained. For the first time have to sit in the simulated helicopter cabin. When the cabin falls into the water, everyone starts freaking out. A person even falls into the water from his seat. This is really dangerous. While falling and rolling over, most people lose their direction. Losing the reference object will make it more difficult to find the way out. So before falling into the water, they have to remember where the exit is. After falling into the water, they have to stabilize themselves. Once everything is a bit stable, they must go to the exit as they remember. Staying still is the most important. For example, if you remember the exit is next to the seat on the left. Then you can find the exit as long as the reference object is constant. If you're on the train or the bus, in addition to remember the exit, you still need to find the tool to break the window. Although this is a training session in the military, it's still useful for normal people. Don't panic when you're in an accident. You'll be facing death if you're dumbfounded for just a few seconds. Staying calm is the most crucial factor.